the WFI World FE Institute workshop here in um, Istanbul, Turkey. in uh, two steps. First, before the operation evaluation and after the surgery. Before the operation, what t bot is doing? First of all, calculating the donor area, how many centimeters of there, and counting the number of... I just want to share how I use this in my daily practice. This is Dr. Bhatti from Darling Bats Clinic in Mumbai and Chandigarh. I'm here in Istanbul, Turkey uh, to attend the WFI, which is World FUE Institute workshop in Istanbul. Uh, the beautiful building that you see behind me is Dr. Corey Erdogan's asthma clinic. It's been a lovely time getting to learn so much from the best hair restoration surgeons from all around the world. For example, Dr. Chrysostomo from Brazil, uh, Dr. Lupunzla from Belgium, uh, Dr. Shapiro from um, the United States of America, and of course, Dr. Corey himself. So Dr. Corey Erdogan is a very well-renowned hair restoration surgeon, and he has been in this field for over, I think, 12 years now. I got to learn about many, many variations. I got to try out as well uh, in hair restoration surgery under these best minds from all over the world. Let me talk a little about this clinic's model. Dr. Corey performs around 10 uh, surgeries in a day. What I really like about this clinic is that the operation theatres are so well equipped that it is very obvious to see that uh, the patient's safety as well as the patient's comfort is Dr. Corey's utmost uh, priority. Talking a little about the FUE technique, there are lots of variations in the FUE technique itself. For example, some use the stick in place method, whereas some like to use implanter pens and uh, some still uh, like to stick to implanting by using forceps. So Dr. Corey Erdogan has made his own uh, implanter, which is called the Keep Implanter. And I have been using it for more than two years now. I have seen great results in hair restoration by using this implanter, which is Dr. Corey Erdogan's implanter. Well, forceps, of course, they do damage the grafts because uh, manhandling of the grafts uh, when uh, forceps are used for implantation. So I think the Keep implanter is really easy to use because it is very easy to load. 
uh, there is no hassle, but, uh, there is no trauma to the graft and there is optimal graft survival. That's what I have seen in my practice. I do not want to switch to any other implanter for now. And separate this mm, long, long uh, yeah, the one and two, three. Okay. okay. Classification.
Yeah. 